Hello, welcome to Get Your Mind On. I'm Lori Stos. Every day we make many, many decisions. As a leader, you think of all the decisions you make every day from the minute you wake up till the minute you go to bed. Everything from the simple things of what we choose to eat to who's on your team to tough decisions within the business every day. So how do you make those decisions? Some of us are more process oriented with our decisions. We think about step to step, uh, what we should do, what type of decision it is, who's involved, who needs to be involved, who sh whose opinion counts, what resources or what information do we need. Or some of us are a little bit more of shoot by the hip. We're pretty confident. We've had a lot of experience. We do this every day. And most of the decisions we make, we can make on the fly. And that takes confidence, right? So there's confidence in all of decision making and we all do it a little bit differently, but have you stepped back to think about what is your decision making process? As a leader, it's really important for people to know and understand that it's important to make decisions because sometimes when you think back, you think maybe uh, uh, you get into that analysis paralysis mode. Sometimes when there are decisions that are tough and difficult, we have to stop back and think about how do we go through that and do we need enough information and when is too much information and when do we need to make that decision. So there's a timing element also involved in making decisions. So decision making is an important part of our life. And when we as a leader make decisions, I think it's important for us to be, um, people are watching us again, we're modeling behavior. And how do we make those decisions and how do we really delegate also decision making to others? Susan Scott, who wrote Fierce Leadership, has a really neat analogy about decision making that you might think about for yourself as well as others. All of the de decisions that we make every day um, affect an organization, can hurt or harm an organization. But let's talk about what those levels of decisions are. So she uses an analogy of a tree. So if you can imagine a tree, there's leaf decisions, branch decisions, trunk decisions, and root decisions. We think about leaf decisions, those are those small, take a leaf off, right, it's not gonna kill the tree. Um, you can make that quick decision, um, you can go ahead and act on it. And really there needs to be, you know, unless it's a big decision that your team needs to know, those are things we don't need to necessarily uh, be communicating to everyone. Then we have a branch decision. Branch decisions are decisions we should also act on, but probably report to people what those decisions are on a consistent basis, whether that's weekly or monthly. Um, what those decisions are. Then we have trunk decisions, and those decisions are a little bit deeper, right? We need to act on those, but we need to make sure that others are involved in that decision and we're, we're telling people how it might affect them. And then we have the root decisions. The root decisions are deep um, decisions that affect the organization on a big level, right? A root decision could be great for an organization, but it could be very harmful if we don't take enough time. So usually we gotta pull a lot of people in and get a lot good conversation and dialogue going and good research going to make those decisions. So when you think about those types of decisions, that might help you if you're one who has a tendency to get stuck is, what level of decision is this? Is it a decision that's easily made? Is it a leaf decision that, you know what, I just make the decision to move forward? Or is it that right decision? And we know when those decisions are pretty tough. But sometimes we need to think about what is our confidence level in that decision-making process. So if we're not one uh, leader to have that confidence, maybe think about how can I increase that level of confidence throughout that leadership process. And I think it's very important also just to, again, to be high in communication when we think about our decision-making process and helping people know and understand when we make decisions, what that means. Because it's important um, to build other leaders within our you know, constituent group and within our direct reports, we think about that decision-making process because we want them to be confident and be able to make decisions as well. So they may do it different than we. So I think that's one thing to think about is sometimes you have people who are a little bit more cautious, a little bit more deliberative, and understand that that's their style, okay? And that's where you as a leader need to come in and help them be more confident and feel good about those decisions. And you know what? Every decision doesn't work out. And I think that's the importance of a leader when we make those decisions, that we sit back and, and you know, ponder why and have those discussions and let them know that it's okay to make a bad decision. Sometimes it happens. So really it's, it's showing others that we all are human. Um, hopefully we make the right decisions, but sometimes things happen. So it's really how we as a leader respond to that. That's important for our people to understand their, their confidence in decision-making. 
So for positive charge this week, think about your decision-making process. Where do you fall on decision-making? Number one, what's your style? Are you a more process-oriented individual or are you a little bit more shoot from the hip? Two, are you reaching the outcomes you want to reach on those decisions? If not, you should stop and evaluate. Maybe you do need a process if you are normally a shoot from the hip person if it's not working for you. And three is are you growing other people to make decisions? Think about how or who this week you could maybe grow um, to build their decision making ability. Decision making is so essential in our day to day lives and leadership of companies and our organizations and the people that we have following us. So take some time to think about your decision making capability and help others grow in theirs. Thank you for joining us and remember to get your mind on.